Okay, the first thing we want to do on this uh, Honda Aero uh, bobber here is we want to cut these uh, rear fender supports off. That's what they look like after they've been cut. Uh, what I've done is I've cut this top flange off here first and then I'll cut this. So I'll, let's go ahead and go to the other side and we'll show you how do we do that. Oh, this is what I've done too. Uh, these are the blades that I used. I either use the, this finer tooth or this little bit coarser one. They, they both work really well. These are about five inch long blades. I like the, I like the shorter ones better. Okay, if you'll notice, I've taped these holes on the shock right here, and I've wrapped some cardboard around the shock absorber here. That's just to protect us, so once you cut that, you couldn't uh, slide that saw off and hit that uh, nice chrome on that shock. Okay, I feel like Tim Allen here, cutting this uh, off the back of this bike here with my sawzall. Uh, if you'll notice, what I've done here is I've started to cut this uh, tab off, Keep your blade just flush with this surface right here. So when we get finished, we want this to be a nice flush cut. If it's a little jagged or ugly, don't worry about it because some sheet metal will cover that up anyway. So let's go ahead and chop this off and then uh, we'll be right back. Okay, I finished cutting that off. It just took a minute. And then uh, make sure that this is a little bit below the surface to this or just flush. Because once we put our sheet metal over the top, we don't want that to stick up there. So anyway, you can always grind that a little bit later. And then uh, what I've done is I've put a piece of tape here, about even with the, where this little radius of this, uh, this uh, flange, this uh, flange of this uh, hole here, uh, blends into the flat area of the uh, strut there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut that straight down there. Now you want to make this about, a, about straight up and down to the ground, or perpendicular to the ground. So let's go ahead and cut that off. Okay, I want to dedicate this cut to uh, Mike at uh, M&M &M, uh, Motorcycle Shop. He, uh, he cracked me up one day. He said he just loved to cut motorcycles. In fact, he invited his friends over to watch him cut. So anyway, this cut is for you, Mike. And then uh, if you'll notice, I've cut this almost all the way through. Once it starts to sag, then you can go ahead and just bust that off there. It saves that piece from falling down and uh, scratching your motorcycle there. So a little hint and then uh, go ahead and just finish cutting that little barb off and then what we want to do we want to go ahead and take a file and deburr all these edges and grind all these little areas off that uh, you know file them smooth so so you don't want sharp edges there to cut you so go ahead and do that and then we'll continue on